You're watching NBC for New York. And now, David Ushery, Carolyn Gussoff, and Sally Ann Mosey. This is News Channel 4, Weekend Today in New York. This afternoon, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender pride march will make its way down Fifth Avenue. It's been almost 40 years since the Stonewall Uprising took place, an event which many consider to be the true beginning of the gay rights movement. However, many young people who choose to come out still face discrimination, even from their own family and friends. Well, for the past five years, the Point Foundation has been providing financial and emotional support to gay teens who have been marginalized. And today, we welcome Point Foundation trustee David Stewart and 2004 Point scholar Julie Schell here to tell us more about the organization. Welcome to both of you. Thanks Thank you. for joining us. Tell us, David, if you would, about the organization mm -hmm. and what your mission is. Well, we are really the first national scholarship organization for gay and lesbian college and graduate students. What happens? Very often these young people decide to announce the fact that they may be gay or lesbian and their what happens with their family and their uh, their family's desire in many cases yes. to pay for their educations. Well, often there is, you know, frustration from the community, marginalization from the community and also family. So Students who have incredible leadership, leadership training, leadership actions, very good scholars, find themselves unable to afford a college education because they've often been cut off, lack of support. And that's where we step in, not only with scholarship funds, mm -hmm. but also with mentoring for a new sort of parent figure in these students' lives, and also with networking by bringing these very talented future leaders together. How many students are you awarding scholarships to a year? Right, our newest class is 30 students, mm -hmm. and the average student receives about $33,000 in support through direct scholarship, leadership training and mentoring. And the money that you're giving away all comes from donations. Yes, and we solicit it both from individuals as well as companies and foundations. Let me ask you, Julie, what was your experience when you decided to come out? What was the reaction of your, of your family? Unfortunately, like many lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender youth, my experience was one of discomfort mm -hmm. and pain from rejection from my home community and also from my school. And what happened in college was really traumatic for me that in terms of being discriminated against by my roommates and not being able to identify any gay role models to mm -hmm. go to. And I think that's one of the things about the Point Foundation that stands out for me is that oftentimes other, different than other minority communities who go through discrimination mm -hmm. and who face prejudice, you have a group of elders to turn to to help you navigate the terrains of sort of a muddy, muddy social constraints. So it's not just about the money, right? It's about the mentoring. And you are a recipient of the scholarship. You're in graduate school now. What are you studying? Yes. I'm studying higher education mm. at Teachers College at Columbia University because I feel strongly about the power of higher education to tra transform people's lives, and that's what the Point Foundation has allowed me to do. Well, that that brings me back to you, David. Is that also the point of the scholarships, not just to help these young people get educated, but to, uh, are you only choosing people that you think have potential as future leaders? Yeah, we look for a combination of academic excellence and also demonstrated leadership and incredible leadership potential as well. We view ourselves as helping to create the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Julie, any final message to young folks out there who are facing the same discrimination that you did? I think they should go on to the Point Foundation website and take a look at all of the incredible people who have overcome the negative images that their families and their homes um, portray to them so that they can see that they can be out and be successfully gay. All right. Thank you so much, David and Julie, for joining us this morning. Thank you for and, having us. And for more information about the Point Foundation, you can log on to our website at WNBC.com.